What's up, all you good fellow fly guys? You know who it is. The Cat in the Hat, your resident fly guy, your chief architect, Michael Andrew of StarArchitects.com. Here to help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to the styling thing. And this Fly Guy Friday. Yeah, I hope that you have been showing up in style this week. But if you haven't, if you've been having some issues, if you've been having some challenges, that's cool. That's exactly why I'm here to ensure that you are addressing yourself with the best yourself. Now today on Fly Guy Fridays, we're going to briefly talk about when you should probably throw on that bow tie. When it's a good time for you to throw those on in social situations. Now the first thing that you should be thinking about is where you're going, what you're going to be doing, who you're going to be interacting with. Because while a lot of people don't really know that bow ties have been long associated with casual wear, most people do associate them with formal occasions. And so the first thing that you have to think about, again, is the function. It's the same thing that we were talking about on What to Wear Wednesdays and how wearing bow ties actually creates more uh, space for wind and ventilation on your shirt because you don't have extra fabric falling on your shirt so you kind of want to think about those things are you going to be outside where it's probably going to be more beneficial for you to have access to your shirt not having an extra piece of fabric are you going to be in a space where people are slightly dressed up and you just want to add a bit of flair to your look are you in a space where people aren't going to be dressed up at all and you can just add a conversation piece to a casual look. All these different types of things are things that you want to uh, pay attention to when you're stepping out. So the first place that you can definitely throw on a bow tie is a casual Friday type of look. Um, so if you're at work and everybody else is going to be in their t-shirts and their jeans, you know, and their sneakers, throw on a bow tie, maybe with a waistcoat or a vest. You can uh, just throw it on, leave your shirt untucked, and just have a super casual look with a conversation started. And I can guarantee you when you step in the office, somebody's going to be like, what you wearing a bow tie for? Like, it's casual Friday. He's like, yeah. So you want to switch it up or you can create that conversation around it. And a lot of people are impressed with the people who know how to tie a bow tie. So that'll be a great space for you to have that different type of conversation. The second place that you can wear a bow tie, of course, is the church. If you go to church and you want to be a little bit different when you're going in there, feel free to throw on a bow tie because uh, it's great. This is a great conversation starter, and people are always uh, enjoying, especially if you're a young guy, a guy who has a little bit of style, a little bit of flair, and he's not afraid to express himself while, you know, he's catching the spirit, enjoying the sermon, or uh, serving, you know, the community around him. Uh, the next place that you can wear it is at a cocktail party. Now, a lot of guys don't really think about cocktail attire, and we're definitely going to have to do a conversation on contemporary cocktail attire and some of the do's and don'ts there. But a bow tie is a great way to switch up your look if you've been wearing a tie all day at work to throw on this one little piece and completely alter your wardrobe. We went to a, a mixer for networking probably about three weeks ago, and I believe I had on a bow tie. And somebody was like, yo, I would have never even thought to wear a bow tie out today. Like, And so we started talking about the benefits of wearing a bow tie, and he really appreciated it. So hopefully he's going out uh, to buy some bow ties now. But in those spaces, you can wear all those different types of things. Um, when you're working, I've seen doctors wear bow ties when they're, uh, you know, doing checkups and things of that nature. And one of the reasons why they wanted to, to, to wear a bow tie was because they didn't want to get anything potentially on their tie when it was hanging down and they're leaning over to do something, but they still wanted to maintain a certain level of formality and uniformity when they were dressing. So there's all these different ways that you can wear those uh, bow ties out. And again, now you know the practice and you know how to begin learning how to tie your bow tie. So remember, you don't have to make it perfect. We actually want it to be slightly off so that people know that this is not a pre-tied bow tie. It's actually something that you know how to do. You're a big boy, right? And um, step out this weekend and wear a bow tie. See where it takes you. Yo, I want you to make sure that you give this a thumbs up if you found the information beneficial. Please make sure that you share this with a friend. You never know.
Somebody might be trying to get out there and wear a bow tie and doesn't know where to wear the bow tie to. So if they could uh, find this beneficial, please make sure that you subscribe if you're feeling the vibe. You know I'm here every Monday through Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And lastly, please don't ever forget that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind. So you should always dress to express. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.